As you are no doubt aware, there are a variety of types of research, like telephone surveys, mail surveys, intercept surveys, focus groups, and web-based surveys, to name a few. Each type of research brings its own ethical issues, but we'll focus in this video on the ethical considerations of collecting data via the Internet. The Association of Internet Researchers, the AOIR, has several guidelines for researchers to follow when they decide to collect data and research via the Internet, and you can find them on their website. In 2002, the guidelines were more directive and not quite as philosophical as the 2012 guidelines we'll look at in a moment. In 2002, the ethical considerations included this one. The greater the acknowledged publicity of the venue, the less obligation there may be to protect individual privacy, confidentiality, and rights to inform consent. The assumption was that if it was obvious that the website, media platform, etc. is out in the public eye, then those responding to a survey or posting to that site were likely aware that it was possible their information would become public, and by posting to that site, they waived some of their privacy rights. Additionally, many sites have TOSs, or Terms of Service, you know, the ones you tend to click agree to without actually reading the long document in legalese, those essentially provide notification that, by using the site, you agree to allow your information to be used for research and marketing purposes. But notice this one, which was originally buried as the eighth bullet on the list of 12. It was clarified and moved to be the first on a much shorter, more philosophical, and arguably more wordy list of six guidelines. It reads, the greater the vulnerability of the community, author, participant, the greater the obligation of the researcher to protect the community, author, participant. This means that while all persons have rights, and as researchers we are obligated to protect those rights, those obligations are greater if the research participants are children and or minors between the age of 12 and 18 or other groups that may be considered vulnerable. Processing time. What group is specifically identified by the Association of Internet Researchers as being vulnerable to the point where researchers have a greater obligation to protect them? And how does the concept of do no harm apply to research conducted via the Internet? And as you now know, there are benefits and drawbacks of all of the research data collection methods, but Internet research has some unique challenges.